Hey guys, MJ675 here and welcome back to another comparison video. In this comparison video we're going to be doing another ATRT comparison. I know we just did one of these last year, but a new ATRT has come out in the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, which is this one right here. So I thought it would be time to do another comparison video, seeing how this new set lines up with the older ones. So do a quick run through of all of the sets real quick before we get started. Um, I have reviewed or showcased all of these sets in a previous comparison video on their own, so I'm not going to be doing that in this video. So I will link those set reviews and those kind of showcases in the comparison videos for those sets I have not reviewed in the description. So if you are not familiar with any of these sets, feel free to go check that out. But without further ado, let's quickly run through some basic information on all these sets, then we'll get into the comparisons. So, First set all the way on the left here is the 7250 Clone Scout Walker, released in 2005 for $10 in the United States at the time, and it contains one figure. Um, the next set closest to the middle right here is the 75002 ATRT set, which was released in 2013 for $20, containing three figures. Um, the next set right here is the 75261 Clone Scout Walker 20th Anniversary Edition set, which was released last year in 2019 for $30 with four total minifigures. And then the last set all the way over here on the right is the 75280 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, which was released this year 2020 for $30 and contains six minifigures. So that's a quick run through of all the sets. Again, if you want more information about any of them, go check the description for those videos. As far as doing this comparison goes, I compare sets on three metrics, and those are minifigure selection, and then concerning the actual builds in the set, display value and play value, so those are the metrics we'll be comparing these sets on today. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it for right now, um, so without further ado, let's get into this comparison, starting with the minifigure selection. So these are the figures included in all of these sets. These sets are in the same order as they were in the introduction to this video, so 2005 right here, 2013 right here, 2019 right here, and 2020 right there, so that will be the order they will stay in for the rest of this comparison. As far as figure totals go, go we went through this already, but one figure, three figures, four figures, six figures. Um, so that's what's going on here. As far as which figure selection I think is the best, um, I've personally got to go with the 75280 501st Legion Clone Troopers figure selection. Um, first of all, it has two more figures than the 2019 set, which was the Clone Scout Walker 20th Anniversary Edition, which also had one more figure than the 2013 version, which had two more figures than the 2005 version. So obviously most figures there, and I think that for what they've done here, um, the 501st Clone Troopers are overall pretty good, and I can't really complain too much about them. Obviously, you can see here the 2013 version of that same figure right there. Um, don't know if I'm going to do a comparison between those two yet, but maybe in the future we'll see. Um, I think that overall, though, the printing on the 501st Troopers from 2020 um, definitely is a change of style from the previous clones, so, you know, maybe that's not the greatest, but I think they've done a good job overall, even though there's definitely some room for improvement. And, of course, you get two battle droids for opposition, which is more opposition, really, as far as figures go than you get in any of the other sets, so, well, battle droids by themselves aren't the most interesting thing ever. Um, I think that having six figures for a start and then having four of those figures be pretty amazing all around for a second and then having just two battle droids thrown in on the side um, I think will allow the 2020 501st Legion Clone Troopers to take the cake for this one. Um, though, if I had to pick one out of the other ones, um, probably I would just go with the 2019 um, Clone Scout Walker's figure selection because they offer slightly different things, but I think out of these two because these two are kind of the same thing as well as these two are also kind of the same thing. I think that the newer versions of the sets do tend to have the superior figure selection unless of course you're going for some retro style which these older guys do offer, but that is to be expected with older sets is to get older styled figures. So um, that is going to do it for the figure comparison for this comparison. So now let's move on to taking a look at the builds in these sets and comparing them. Taking a look at all of the builds in the set, as you can see, there are quite a few builds in these four sets, um, arranged in the same order as previously. Um, but now it's time to compare all of these guys. So, first metric that we will be taking a look at is, dis is display value between all of these sets. Um, obviously, starting out with the 2005 one, um, it's got that retro style. Cool, but um, it's not, probably not what you'd want to display unless you're doing something old school. So. Kind of similar vein of, with the 2013 one. Um, you don't have any stud shooters on either of these two, which do help them out in this particular category, in my opinion, because I don't think stud shooters look all that great. 
Um, and you also do have this Sniper Droidica as well in this set, so, you know, it's a cool little build here. Nice little kind of addition there, which you can set up a nice scene with as well. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, and then moving on to the 2019 set, um, you do have stud shooters, which do detract from the look quite a bit. Um, but you also do have a whole bunch of things. You have four total builds in this set. You have not only the Walker, the Dwarf Spider Droid, and the little Darth Vader stand, but you also do have this little Wookiee barricade, so... You've got pretty much everything you'd need here to make a little Kashyyyk display, and of course you could throw in some other sets like turbo tanks or gunships or ATAPs or whatever you want to add to that, but you've pretty much got all the essentials of a Kashyyyk display in this set, so pretty cool. Um, and then of course the 2020 set doesn't have much in the way of builds compared to quantity as far as the 2019 set, but it does have an ATRT as well as a quite large bark speeder. Um, so you can definitely do some staging with a lot of that stuff. Um, and just looking at all of these sets, um, as far as display value goes, um, the big thing to point out, at least for me, is that the older two sets do not have stud shooters, while the newer two sets do have stud shooters. And it's made particularly worse in the 2020 version of the ATRT, where they replaced the entire kind of cannon barrel with just a stud shooter, whereas in the 2019 version, they kind of just mounted it underneath where these little parts would have gone as well. So I guess it kind of all make sense, but there's not even like a barrel on this one, so um, that definitely hurts this this particular set. Um, so I think overall for display value, I've probably got to give it to the 2019 Clone Scout Walker 20th Anniversary Edition set. Um, again, I'm not the hugest fan of stud shooters. Um, I would have liked it if they had taken the stud shooters off um, and replaced them with more barrels like they've done in these older ATRT sets. Um, and the Dwarf Spider Droid does have the same problem as the ATRT does. Um, but one, the barrel for the Dwarf Spider Droid is not as long, so it's not as big of an issue. And two, the Dwarf Spider Droid also is not the focal point of the set, so I don't think it's as big of an issue in that regard either. So, um, you just have more stuff with the 2019 one. Um, you can make more of a full display where you've got not only stuff for the heroes, um, both groups of heroes kind of in that particular battle, but you also do have stuff for the opposition as well And you just have of course your entirely dedicated to display Darth Vader stand um, Which is you know probably not the best looking thing on its own But it does give you something to do with that Darth Vader figure because Darth Vader wasn't really at the Battle of Kashyyyk So interesting in that regard um, But the 501st set while it does um, the bark speeder I will say does look quite nice um, it's just lacking, um, not only in quantity and really, like, representation of different sides of battles in comparison to the 2019 set. Um, also, the ATRT is sh a little bit shrimpy. Um, it's kind of like they remade this set in the style of this set, in my opinion, but um, with, of course, modern pieces. Um, and I will say, that out of all of these kind of shield portions in the front of the ATRT kind of heads, I think this one looks the worst out of all of them. Um, so there's that so all right now on to the play value of these so exciting um, so we'll run through all of these again real quick um, the 2005 version um, it does not have really anything outside of sitting the figure in there and moving the legs and the cannon around um, no stud shooters or anything um, feelings mutual towards the 2013 version um, it just is a slightly better looking and of course slightly different vehicle but play features are pretty much the same um, both of these do have a place to store the blaster though which is cool um, 2019 version um, again you have a lot of stuff to make a display with um, which is pretty neat um, only two stud shooters total um, unfortunately there's not really a good spot to store the blaster of the pilot on the ATRT so that is unfortunate um, but there is quite a lot of stuff here um, you have again large quantity of things to work with and there's just a lot you can do with that um, and then of course the 2020 501st Legion clone troopers um, you've got quite a lot of stuff here um, you do have a place to hold the blaster as well as you have some micro binoculars on the back of that thing as well um, you do get two full kind of full-ish sized vehicles whereas you kind of just get one vehicle and miscellaneous odds and ends in this set um, three stud shooters so one more than the 2019 version um, and yeah, just a lot of stuff um, out of posability for all of these walkers. Um, this one is, has the best posability in my opinion. Um, probably this one second, but that is mainly due to the size of both of them. Um, not being so large and unwieldy as compared to these other two in the middle here. Um, and these two in the middle actually do share a lot of similar design features. Um, like they have pretty much identical legs just in different colors. Um, and really the design changes only start getting, getting into 
like effect when you move into the kind of heads of the walkers so that's interesting um, and then of course with this set as well you do have a lot of figures to work with um, you've got slightly less in this set less and less in those sets um, so yeah um, there's there's actually quite a lot you can do with a lot of these um, and in my opinion you know what you which set of these is ultimately best for you depends on what you're looking for because obviously these are all meant to represent ATRTs but not necessarily the same ATRT as time progresses. These two and these two work together kind of as the next kind of progression of that set. Um, but of course they are kind of different so you know if you're doing a Kashyyyk display obviously it wouldn't make sense to get this set because that's a 501st set and kind of same thing if you're doing a 501st display you don't want to get the Kashyyyk set. Um, but kind of enough beating around the bush on that. Um, Honestly, I think even though it's a very tough decision and it's very close for these two, um, I've got to give the I've got to give the play value um, to the 2019 set again, um, and that is largely because while I think that the 2020 set does execute a lot of the stuff better um, as far as play features do go than the 2019 version of the set, um, the 2019 set just has it beat in terms of opposition and things. Um, you know, you could add the AAT to this set, in which case, if you did, I would say that this set would win, but you're also adding another $40 set onto it. And the point of this video is not to compare what you could buy when these sets were out with the set, it's to compare all of these sets to each other. Um, so I think in that case, due largely to the fact that you just can make a more complete battle with this set than you can with this set, um, I've got to give it to the 2019 set. And, you know, the, if you want the 2020 set, you know, it's it's probably a close second um, due to stud shooters and just having more, kind of larger vehicles. Um, but I think that I, I've got to favor the 2019 Clone Scout Walker in this regard just because it has more stuff to make more of a complete battle. And if you're playing with LEGO Star Wars, at least like I was as a kid, you get the sets to have your own battles. And this, this set out of the box is more of a better representation of accomplishing that goal than the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set is. So for that reason, um, I've got to give the play value to the 2019 Clone Scout Walker 20th Anniversary Edition set. So now we'll go cut to the winner of this comparison. So in conclusion of this comparison, the winner of the comparison is the 2019 Clone Scout Walker 20th Anniversary Edition set. Um, and I've chosen this because while it does not have the best figure selection when compared to the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, it is the best for display value and play value due to some of not only the set composition choices made by the specifically the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, um, but also due to what has been slightly better executed in this set than in that set. Um, mostly the longer barrel on the ATRT um, and just a couple of the other inclusions like more opposition to the walker um, is probably have been some of the major deciding factors for me in this comparison. Um, of course that is not to say that the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set is bad by any means. It is not a bad set. Um, it does solve some of the problems that this set has, like having a place for the blaster for the person driving the ATRT. Um, and it does provide more kind of clone vehicles, so if that's what you're going for, um, then obviously that's the set for you, as well as the superior figure selection, in my opinion. Um, but I think that when it comes down to it, this set is better for, has better builds and better functionality that way. Um, and the 501st set has a better figure selection and is kind of more of an at an advantage in that way, so... As far as my purchase recommendations go um, for this particular set, if you're looking for an ATRT, um, obviously the only set that is currently available from LEGO, even though it is pretty hard to find at the time I'm filming this video, is the 501st Legion Clone Troopers. So if you're not going to be going back to the secondary market, that's the set you'd be picking up at this point. Um, but as far as looking at all of these sets kind of together in tandem for what you would be going for, if you're looking for some retro style kind of swag and you're putting a retro display together, um, you're probably going to want to go for either the Clone Scout Walker from 2005 or the 2013 ATRT of the 501st color scheme. Um, so depending on what you're going for, those are the two sets you'd probably be looking at. If you're looking for an army builder, um, you're probably going to be wanting to go for the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set. It has six figures, um, four of those are clones and two of those are just regular battle droids, so pretty much just stuff you'd want to build armies out of anyway. So very solid overall for that purpose um, and of course when this released this set that set costs as much as this set does did when it released currently so um, that is also neat but if you're looking for um, the best ATRT set 
um, the most complete display and play experience, I think this is the set you're going to want to pick up. Um, at the time I'm filming this video, um, this set retired last year, so it, sh it should not be the most annoying thing to find on the secondary market just yet. Um, so that's good if you're looking for this thing uh, probably on the secondary market you won't have too much trouble um, but you know it is what it is so <laughs> obviously if you're just gonna buy stuff from Lego directly and they have a 501st Legion clone trooper set you're gonna want that but um, I think that overall based on the criteria that I compare sets upon that I cannot say that <laughs> this is not the best set so I think the 2019 clone scout walker 20th anniversary edition does take the cake once again in this comparison um, but of course, that's this is entirely my opinion, so that does not mean that this is definitively the best set. I just think that based on what I compare and work with, um, that this is probably, out of this selection, currently the best set. So, um, that's pretty much going to do it for this comparison. Um, we did have four sets at once in this video, which um, is quite a lot, especially um, just considering the space I have to work with. And not only that, these are like smaller sets too, so... Um, if I do have to do another ATRT comparison, which I don't know when they'll come up with another one, but in that event, um, I don't know if I'll be showcasing all of the sets together again. I might do like something at the beginning where they're all kind of together. I don't know, maybe, but it's it's a lot to have in one space at once. So if they keep doing these, um, I might just kind of put like the best sets forward and keep using those in comparisons. So at this point, as much as I like the retro styling of my first ever LEGO Star Wars set, being the Clone Scout Walker, um, that would probably be the set that I would drop off from the comparisons, um, and I would keep going forward with the other three sets, um, and then whatever new ATRD comes out, which, you know, don't know when that will happen, but whenever it does, I hope it will be an interesting set to take a look at. So um, I guess that's kind of the only other note that I have. Um, if you, again, if you want to see my reviews of this set as well as the 501st Legion Clone Troopers, um, those are linked in the description below. If you want to sit, take a look at the other two sets that I showed in this video, those I think we took a look at in the previous comparison video where it was just this set and then those two sets. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, it's linked in the description below. Otherwise, that's going to conclude this video. Thanks everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.